the Electoral Commission has launched what it calls Let the Citizens Know. It's to inform the citizens about work being done by the Commission every step of the way before December 7th. Chairperson of the Commission, Jean Mensa, explains this will hopefully uh, demonstrate transparency and demystify the Commission's work and also remove the veil of secrecy which has characterized operations of the EC. It's to outdoor the maiden edition of our initiative dubbed Let the Citizen Know. Transparency and Accountability in Motion. This initiative aims at providing the Commission the opportunity to engage with the citizen and inform them about our activities and processes from now until we close our doors to election 2020. It would also afford us the opportunity to receive feedback from the citizens to answer their questions and address their concerns. The question that has been posed is why are we doing this? As a commission, we believe that the citizen should be informed about our processes and activities and about the actions that we take. Indeed, since assuming office in 2018, we have endeavored to bring the commission to the doorstep of key stakeholders by updating and informing them about our operations and activities. As you may recall, we engaged and interacted with a variety of stakeholders across the country, including religious bodies, traditional authority, the media, civil society, to name a few. It is in that same spirit, that is a spirit of transparency and accountability, that we are gathered here today. We believe that this platform would afford us an opportunity to provide timely information on a regular basis to the citizenry. We are confident that by doing so, we will demystify the operations of the Commission and remove the cloaks of secrecy that had hitherto shrouded our work. We are keen to ensure that citizens are provided with the truth and facts as they unfold. As a commission, we are determined to open up our processes and promote transparency around our work. It is our resolve to assure the citizen that there's nothing mysterious about our operations and to let the citizens know that as sensitive as our mandate is, the operations leading to our elections are basic mundane issues such as registering voters, and so on and so forth. We are of the view that providing timely updates to the citizens will help build trust and confidence in the Electoral Commission. This, we hope, will help erase the tensions and suspicions that characterize our work and elections generally. Distinguished friends from the media, this initiative dubbed Let the People Know aims to help us to achieve the objectives I have outlined above. Through you, our dear friends in the media, we intend to engage with the citizens twice a week, that is on Wednesday and Friday, starting today. Using the Let the Citizen Know platform, we will provide citizens with regular updates ranging from the number of persons who register nationwide to details on male-female ratios to the number of people who use the Garanta system and to the number of people who use a form of identification and so on and so forth. In short, we are keen to provide you with the facts as they unfold on the field and to let you know what the situation is regularly. We believe that by so doing, each and every one of us as citizens would be able to collate and have an idea, a fair idea of the number of people who have registered under the 2020 voter registration exercise. We believe this should not be secret and each and every one of us as citizens is entitled to that information. And as we go along in all our various processes, we will bring you timely, relevant information and answer your concerns and questions. 
to you, our media personnel gathered here, we consider you as our bridge to the citizenry. You are a gateway to the public, and we hope and trust that you will be accountable to the citizen by presenting them with the facts and evidence as they are laid bare here. We trust that in carrying out your duties as seasoned journalists, you will put Ghana and no other entity first. We have no doubt that you understand the times in which we find ourselves. This is an election year, and already the tensions and suspicions are high. It is therefore important that you offer objective reportage on issues that transpire here. You have a responsibility not to use your platform and this platform for sensationalism. We, that is you and us, owe it to the citizens to present the facts and the truth as they unfold in this very room. We view you as our partners in the enterprise of informing the citizens on the plain facts and the truth. We believe that we are in this together and the role we each play will have a bearing on the future and destiny of our dear country, Ghana. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, we should each find ourselves on the side of truth and justice.